Right. The purpose of the book is to go and expose some of the signs of your normal day. Uh, but the normal day doesn't start well because you're asleep. I mean, literally, look at you in your special pajamas with pictures of the planets slash unicorns slash pigs and motorbikes on them. Half in and half out of the duvet, legs going one way, your head going the other. Our extraordinary day started just after midnight, but it seems I'm going to wait about seven hours until you join me. But why? I mean, your parents are always telling you not to waste time, and yet every single day you waste about nine, ten, maybe eleven hours of this precious time conked out and useless. Why? Most of the basic functions we perform every day are pretty obviously useful. We know why we eat, drink, wee and poo, for example. Sleep isn't so obvious. For one thing, most animals, and this includes us before we started building lovely houses to sleep in, sleep is dangerous. An animal lying down with its eyes closed for eight hours makes an easy snack for a bigger, hungry animal with sharp, pointy teeth. In fact, it's so risky that we think giraffes, who live out in the open on the African plains, only nap for five minutes at a time. And until recently, scientists weren't sure if they slept at all. Then again, how much sleep do you think you would get, knowing hungry lions were lurking nearby? The lion is the one doing the eating in the savanna, so can afford to be much more relaxed. Lions sleep between 15 and 20 hours a day, sometimes even more after a meal. Even your cat at home sleeps about 16 hours a day, presumably so it's well rested for nighttime when it sneaks out of your house to hunt a giraffe.